You know, at the end of the day, though, I think that you have to also be critical of contemporary activism because I think a lot of contemporary activism is oriented around just being the loyal opposition, not actually trying to change how power functions, but instead just try to influence the people making decisions in their government. What's going on actually is I call it the end of protests. It's a period of time where we see the proliferation of protests, but that these protests are increasingly ineffective. America was never great. We've seen in the last decade the largest street protests in human history. But did Occupy Wall Street get money out of politics? Did Black Lives Matter stop police from killing people? No, it hasn't done any of these things. The contemporary activism is the reason why Donald Trump won, and that's the horrible and painful truth. What Donald Trump did is revolutionary. You know, he had this thing where he said, if I don't, if I don't get the, uh, the nomination, if I don't win the primary, there's gonna be riots in the streets, okay? That's what Bernie Sanders should have been saying. Are you saying you're not prepared now to commit to that principle? What I'm saying is that I will tell you at the time, I'll keep you in suspense. Second thing that Donald Trump said that I think is absolutely correct is during the debates, he was asked, if you lose the election, will you acknowledge the results? And he's like, no, that's absolutely right. You don't acknowledge the results. The left has lost its revolutionary edge. What Trump was saying is revolutionary, like that's revolutionary language par excellence. No, I will not acknowledge the legitimacy of an election that doesn't pick me. There's only one legitimate and real and authentic goal of activism, and that's a revolution. And a revolution is a change in legal regime. It's a change in who makes the laws and who has power in our world. So everything else is just social marketing. If you ask most leftist activists what protest is, they'll name like a series of a dozen different behaviors. Marching, and there's clicking on petitions, and there's this. You can't get sovereignty that way anymore. You can only get sovereignty through winning elections or winning wars. You can't just get sovereignty through massing in the streets. So what we need is the kind of activism against activism or a revolution in the way we think about revolution. And that's something that is, it's very difficult to challenge the very foundations of activist theory. Black Black well, I think in a Trump era, we have activists have two choices. We can kind of double down on street protests. We can keep looking at our toes. We can keep chasing each new injustice and atrocity that he does and protest that, or strategize. Think about it. How can we win elections in this country as a social movement? How can we carry out a, a radical agenda like Trump is carrying out his radical agenda? I think that it's good that activism is entering into a period of kind of wild experimentation, as long as that experimentation is oriented around the goal of capturing power and governing. But if we keep playing this game where raising awareness is enough, social marketing is enough, then we're, then, then we're gonna lose and we're gonna be very, very, very sorry.